Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Good morning, viewers, and welcome to the Daily Devotional of the uh, Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion for today. Gather your family. Let's share this moment with you. Let us pray. Eternal Father, King of glory, we honor you. We bless your holy name because this is the day that you have made. We rejoice, O oh God, that you have given us life and the privilege to live in the life of the living. As we share this morning, O oh God, your word, may your word bring us life. May your word bring us peace. May you, O oh God, reveal yourself through your word to us. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Again, welcome to this morning devotion. We are looking at Genesis chapter 47, verses 1 to 6. Genesis chapter 47, verses 1 to 6. So re let's read together. Then Joseph came and told Pharaoh and said, My father and my brethren and their flocks and their heads and all that they have are come out of the land of Canaan. And behold, they are in the land of Goshen. And he took some of the brethren, even five men, and presented them unto Pharaoh. And Pharaoh said unto his brethren, What is your occupation? And they said unto Pharaoh, Thy servants are shepherds, both we and also our fathers. They said moreover unto Pharaoh, For to sojourn in the land are we come, for thy servants have no pasture, for their flocks, for the famine is so in the land of Canaan. Now therefore, we pray thee, let thy servants dwell in the land of Goshen. And Pharaoh sp spoke unto Joseph, saying, Thy father and thy brethren are come unto thee. The land of Egypt is before thee. In the best of the land make thy father and brethren to dwell. In the land of Goshen, let them dwell. And if thou knowest any men of activity among them, then make them rulers over my cattle. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This morning, by the grace of God, we'll be talking on the topic settling in Goshen. Settling in Goshen. We know by the grace of God that this place gave the Israelites uh, peace when they left Egypt, when they left their place to come to Egypt. Now, this land of Goshen was in the region of ancient Egypt, where the Israelites settled during the time of Joseph. The land is described as one a fertile and abundant land. The land of Goshen was a fertile land for the people to traverse and do their farming. Number two, the land is located near the East Nile. That is a city near Ramsey, also called by Ramsey. The pastoral region is the land is also a pastoral region for grazing livestock. For grazing livestock. Again, the land of Goshen was also blessed to be a separate and distinct area from the rest of Egypt. Considering the best part of the land of Egypt in Egypt, this land also gave the 
Israelites peace and accommodated them. Though from where we read this morning, it's supposed to be for a brief stay, but history told us that they stayed there for over 430 years and they had peace and they dwelt there. Uh, looking at it also, during the time that the Israelites were ready to leave the land, God demonstrated his power in this land of Goshen when they saw many miracles. Things differently will be happening in the entire land of Egypt, but in the land of Goshen, God demonstrated his power. This was the land that the Israelites settled when they came into the land of Egypt. Goshen is believed to be a land located in the modern day Egypt, governed near the city of Zagoset. The exact boundary of the region are unclear, but is thought to have been a significant area able to support the large number of Israelites who settled in that land. Therefore, looking at this land, the children of Israel came to Egypt to settle in the land because their brother Joseph had found favor in the land of Egypt. And so when the brethren of Joseph came into the land of Egypt to look for food, and it was discovered to Joseph that their brothers, those who sold him, were come to him for favor. And when the news was broken and they, there was that reunion, then Joseph demanded that the father should be brought to them. And their father was brought. And for them to be settled, now the land of Goshen became a place of settlement for them. And so talking about settling in the land of Goshen, if the land of Goshen gave them peace, if the land of Goshen became a place of refuge and safety for them, that they were not troubled, there was nothing in that land. Now we can also look at it as a place where God wanted them to be in order to settle them from the troubles that they had all this while. Therefore, moving into the land of Goshen was not just because uh, Joseph was in authority. We read this morning that Joseph came to Pharaoh, first of all, to seek for permission, not using his power, his authority, as a second in command to do things. This has a lot of teachings for us today. That those of us who God have endowed with power, with authority, with privileges of life, must know how to carry ourselves in order to live well where God has placed us. Yes, indeed, Joseph had found favor before God, but he didn't take it for granted. He didn't take laws into his hands. He went to Pharaoh to demand that his brother, to ask, not even to demand, to solicit, to plead for the people to move in into the land where they do help. Therefore, today, as Joseph paraded, uh, went about it, so we encourage ourselves who live in this world and who are given authorities, privileges, and rights, even in the church, in the society, where God you, you may have been found and God has blessed you with, not to take laws into your hands, but to do what is according to the law of God, so that everything will be according to what God wants us to be. Again, this land of Goshen that we're talking about, number one, becomes a land of refuge and safety for the Israelites. They came from their own uh, land, Canaan, to dwell in another man's land. And God gave them safety. It was a land of refuge, of settlement. And so, looking at it today, we are in a foreign land. We are living in this world. And the Bible said that this world is not our own. We have another land 
in view that we are looking forward to. And all of us should be able to, like Joseph, made attempt to Pharaoh. So also every child of God, wherever we are, that intends to live in the spiritual land of Goshen, which is heaven, that we are looking forward to, must make effort, serious effort, so that we will be able to enter into this land and do well. Again, in this land of Goshen, God provision and blessing was made available for the Israelites, for the people of God. So also, if we can also dwell in the land where God gives us under the fear of the Almighty, God will also provide for us all our needs and all that we are longing for because he's the God of provision. Like mentioned in our daily founding devotional, the writer said that in the same way Christ is our refuge today, anybody that is looking for peace in a troubled world and is looking for it outside Christ, get it not. Anybody that must enjoy peace in this life must seek God, must dwell in him, like the people of Israel dwell in the land of Goshen. Christ is our refuge, and anyone who puts his trust in him will never be put to shame. As they came into the land of Goshen, their life changed. God supplied all their needs. In the same way, God is looking unto us even today. That if we can believe him and trust him, it shall be well with us. Again, in our study, Joseph, like Joseph, did not just assume authority. Joseph saw that the privilege of living in Egypt, after all, he was sold. He was sold and they sold him to die and to perish in order not to leave his dreams out. But when eventually found favor in the sight of God and the brethren came, he would have used the authority. He would have used it anyhow to punish, to vindicate, and to take revenge. But he never looked at that way as a way to go. So also, those of us, in this life, God has made provision for us. All we need in this life is to look for where God has placed for us, where our land of Goshen is, trusting God and forgetting what may have happened to us along the way to our promised land. God is in charge of everything that concerns us. And when we believe this God, his presence will go with us. He will provide all our needs. He will guide us. Nigeria can become a land of Goshen if those of us who live in this nation will be able to look at areas where God has blessed us with resources and cultivate it and improve on them like these people have done to the land of Goshen. Therefore, this morning, as you wake up, as you face today's business, and as you live your life, as a leader, this is what I want us to take out from these verses that we have learned today. Number one, that we should be able to, whosoever that comes to us for any need, like Pharaoh, we should be able to look with pity and consider people who come to us for any need. Pharaoh did not throw away the plea of the people that they want to live in the land of Christian and they want to become strangers in the land. Many of us who are endowed with blessings today, with privileges, when we see people who are in need, we treat them with disdain. We look down on them. We treat them like an outcast. We treat them as if we have come on top of the world, marching on them. But for Pharaoh, he gave them free access. What is that that God has given to you? 
that can be used to bless people who are around you. What is that that God has blessed you that you can release to people around you? What is that privilege that God has endowed you? What is that opening that God has given to you in life? That God can give you that you can allow other persons to also enjoy. Yes, the land of Goshen was in the land of Egypt. Yet Pharaoh allowed them to come and enjoy and do it there. Those of us who God has blessed, landlords, house owners, how do you treat those who come as your tenants? When they come to live in your house, how do you treat them? You treat them as nobody? You give them order as anyhow? One day you wake up, you ask them to quit from your house because God has given you that privilege. We need to be warned and we need to be very, very careful that in this life, all figures are not equal. And we need one another to exist. Like the Israelites that came into the land of Egypt needed Pharaoh to exist and continue the existence. So also, every one of us here, we need God. We need one another to exist, to live in the land where God has placed us to be. As church fathers and the church, what do you do when people come around you? When people seek to tap from the privileges and from anointing God has given to you, how do you treat them? Do you pursue them? Do you reject their offer? Or do you impose yourself on them? May we learn. Again, as we learn from Joseph, whatever we have, whatever privilege that we have today is given and permitted by God. Therefore, we should not, whether you are a minister, whether you are a chairman of a local government, whether you are a, a committee member in the church, or whether you are a, one of our member or one of our church fathers, a bishop, archdeacon, canons, or whatever, God has given you that privilege. And we must not use it as if we have given it to ourselves. God is in charge of everything that concerns us. But beyond that, and I want to say, settling in the land of Goshen should be our primary interest. Like I said, that the land of Goshen is a land of refuge. And Christ is our hiding place. Christ is our refuge. Like some such 46 said, that it's our refuge, it's our hiding place. Even in the days of trouble, if you are living your life now and you have not run to the land of Goshen, which is Christ represented, it means you're wasting your time, you're wasting your ability. Your time here on this earth could be wasted. Whatever blessing that God has blessed you, and that is why the Bible says, What shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world? and loses his soul, if you gain the whole of this earth without entering into the promise of God, what shall it profit you? Therefore, this morning, brethren, as we look at these Bible passages, think about your life. Pharaoh was at disposal to grant the people's need. Those the people that will come to you today for one request or the other, please Brothers and sisters, as you listen to me, may you be open to granting such requests. May you be open to meeting people that look you as somebody who will be a solution to their problem. They saw Pharaoh and Egypt as a solution to their problem. And when they came, they were never disappointed at this particular time. And so also, I beg us today, as we begin our day activity, many people may come your way. See yourself as a solution today to those that may come your way, those that may come to seek one desire or the other from your hands, those that will come to your office to ask you for something, those that will even come to your knowledge and wisdom to request for something. See yourself as a solution. Then allow them to tap from what God has given to you. Like Pharaoh, allowed the Egyptians, the Israelites, to dwell in his land. And it became a solution to them at that particular time. Be a solution to somebody. 
be a, 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 an answer to somebody's prayer as Pharaoh was the answer to the people of Israel at the time of their need. So also be a solution to somebody that is looking out there, somebody who is rejected by the society, somebody who have no place to go, somebody who have no solution, no, no future to see. Be a solution so that at last heaven will see you as having done your part on this world. May God, in his infinite mercy, bless us as we be a solution to people, as we allow people who are stranded around us to have a place of refuge, as we allow somebody who is looking for food in our own land to have a solution, to allow somebody who is rejected by the society to have, to have somebody welcome him. Those of you, like I said before, who are landlords, those of you who, who are troubling those people who are not able to build, make yourself a solution to them so that at the end of it all, you also would have done the will of God and then God will bless you. May we also, those of us who are Christians, find this question to settle where there is peace, where there is progress, where there is pasture, where there is peace. And there is no other Goshen that we can look for apart from Jesus, who have died for us and have promised us that he has gone to prepare for us a place. I say that in my father's side there are many mansions there. Seek a place in this mansion that God has gone to prepare for us and it shall be well with you. Thank you for being part of this morning devotion. And I pray that as you go out, may you find your Goshen. And as many of God that shall come to you, may you give them a place of settlement so that with them and all of us will have peace. Thank you for being part of this devotion this morning. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you this day that even when Jacob and his family came to Egypt, they found favor in the sight of Pharaoh who allowed them to stay in their Goshen and they settled in peace. As we go out today, Lord, may we be a solution to those who look out to us for solution. May we be a prayer to those who have prayed. May we be an answer to them. Lord, may we bring peace to those who are troubled. May we allow those who are homeless to have home even through us. May we, O oh God, at the end of our journey here on earth, be able to settle in the land where you have gone to prepare, which will eventually be our question, our place of rest. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. And remain blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.